hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? been used recently. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Vesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! Stop! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you. Beska! He was my master. Desosoros. The man who forced me to... Don't do this, Beska. You don't have to kill him. I can't let him live. You of all people should know that. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. <sighs> my, 
my best, guys. I am not. Let him go. Help. What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asher. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Reska! Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. Take your hand off me. Please, for me. I've done all of this for you. I came here for you. Damn you, Asha. Wait! We might just make it out of this alive yet. She's just getting started. So when were you going to tell me he's a fucking wildly? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. How? Oh, Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, oh. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. Oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something. Please. I'll see what I can find. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. He's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish! <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? 
Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! You're outnumbered. You can't fight all of us. Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. Tell me what's going on here, Cotter. Right now. All right. This is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. They're here for my protection. You didn't think I'd just trust your father. I thought you'd at least trust me. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head, and thinking before you jump to conclusions. Don't threaten me, Gwyn. I'm not. I'm warning you. Tread carefully today. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting.
Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. If anyone here should be afraid, it's Whitehill. Agreed. Let's have a look around, see what we find. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Arthur. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? You kept us waiting, Lord. What can I say? I lost track of time. And besides, you had these Glenmore soldiers to keep you company. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? Why? You know, your father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. Hasn't aged well though, has it? Stone crumbles, but at least it doesn't burn. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? No. To justice. To justice, then. Now, as lovely as this is, I presume we have business to discuss. Indeed we do. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. You promised the Boltons, Ironwood. If you can't deliver, that's your problem. If our Warden grows angry, it's both our problems. You Foresters are headed for destruction. Yet... You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. We help you, you don't kill us. Is that it? Roderick, this could save your house. She's right. 
I'm throwing you a rope. And asking us to tie it around our necks. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer you opportunity. And you call it extortion. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want! Let me get slaughtering your small folk! Maybe you'll even make you watch! Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him lately? What are you getting at? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. I'll gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotri! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! Father, no! What are you doing? You... imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine?! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I swear by this. the gods, if you will... He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we're... Blame doing. him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never I'm learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me! And we all die! On your own, let let me! Go. Everyone, please! No. I'll kill you myself! Why do something? Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick! Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <coughs> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. We'll need to take those two out first. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. 
Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. That's all you care about? I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she... <laughs> 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 We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So? Which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. Hear that? This Khaleesi calls herself the breaker of chains. We will break her. I think Croft got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go! You're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Shut up. Keep doing it. Tell me when you're still afraid. Wolf freak. Well, you would have to first see how you like it. All clear down there? Hey! You listening to me? We can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. 
We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? It's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. He'll celebrate once Ryan is returned safely. We still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still. You did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look. Where are the gods? Dahlia? Duncan? Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I I didn't mean to. Perhaps a song instead. 
I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you are not to be trusted either. You're not listening, Garrett. Shh! 